So when you think about security of airplanes, right, there are several ways you can, you can approach the problem, or at least a combination. You can prevent bad people from getting on airplanes. I mean, think about ID checks or checks off a watch list. You can prevent bad things from getting on airplanes. Think of screening for guns and bombs. And you can prevent bad events from happening on airplanes. So things like sky marshals and reinforced cockpit doors. And those are the three basic ways you can look at airplane security. And of course, any security system is going to do a combination of those things. There's sort of a myth that we can prevent bad people from getting on airplanes. Right? There's the idea that we have this list of bad guys, the watch list, the no-fly list. And all we have to do is to make sure the passengers are not on the list, they can get on the plane. I mean, that really is a myth. Most bad guys aren't on the list. Right? Timothy McVeigh wasn't on the list. The Unabomber wasn't on the list. The DC snipers weren't on the list. Most 9-11 terrorists, most of the uh, Palestinian suicide bombers. You know, these people aren't on the list. And the idea that there's this list, you know, doesn't make any sense. I mean, I don't think we really can hope to keep the bad guys off the airplanes. And the only way to do it is to find them and arrest them. Screening for guns, bombs, knives has mixed success. Whenever TSA does tests, they get, you know, 70% of bombs or 60% of knives. You know, it's not that great. In a sense, this is an unsolvable problem, right? We can't keep guns out of prisons. How can we possibly keep them out of airports? On the other hand, you don't have to solve it completely. All you have to do is keep enough guns, bombs, knives off airplanes as to make it not a viable tactic. So for example, if you're a terrorist and you have a gun-based plot on an airplane, if you know that seven out of 10 times your gun's gonna be found and the FBI is gonna be called, and at the very least, they're gonna ruin your week, you're gonna pick another plot. So absolute perfection isn't required if the consequences of getting caught are severe enough. Right, compare that with the TSA confiscating liquids. And if you try to go through airport security with a liquid bottle and the TSA finds it, they're going to toss it in the trash and let you on your way. The FBI isn't called. Your day isn't ruined. Right, there's no ill effect for getting caught. That means in order to be effective, the TSA has to catch 100% of all liquids. Because as the bad guy, you can try a dozen, two dozen, 50 times throughout the day, throughout the week, until the TSA misses it. You know, I regularly argue that two things we've done since September 11th have improved security. The first one is reinforcing the cockpit door, and the second one is convincing passengers they have to fight back. You can argue that sky marshals are also effective. That's the third one. But the sky marshals are effective more in idea than reality. All of those three measures focus on not keeping bad people off airplanes, not keeping bad things off airplanes, but keeping bad events from happening on airplanes. And that really is our best chance for security, things that are most effective and most cost-effective.